Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo Legion 5 Pro laptop. This one is exact model is a Lenovo Legion 5 Pro 16A CH 6H. That information can be found on the bottom sticker, I mean bottom of the laptop is tattooed right on top, engraved it. It's right there, Legion 5 Pro space 16AH ACH 6H. Right, and in this video, I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can remove or replace the battery for your laptop. And I do get a question, people are like, okay, my battery is really not working, can I use the laptop without the battery? Sure you can, and the laptop will work just fine, even a little bit better because it doesn't have to charge a humongous battery, even your charger will last uh, longer. All right, and I'm gonna leave the link for the tools that I use and for the replacement battery in the video description in case you wanna purchase yours. So let's get into it, let's get it started opening it. Tool that I recommend you is an iFix screwdriver set as they have one of the best tools out there. I got the basic screwdriver set. We're gonna be using a Phillips number one or number, no, not number one, number zero. Phillips number zero. If you get the pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers, if not, for the opening tools, grab yourself a guitar pick. A metal guitar picks are suitable to opening cases and covers. With just two on hand, we're gonna do the service. So there are two types of screws in here, the long screws and the short ones. The short ones are the front end, there are four of them. So keep these four in one pile. And the long screws are the one to the side and the four in the back, these are all the same size. So go ahead and remove all of them and keep them in a separate pile so you don't mismatch them. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. Appreciate that. All right, once we remove the screws, we're gonna grab the opening tool. We're gonna always start from the front end because in the back, we're not gonna touch it because there's an IO site, everything in here, HDMI. And that means these ports are directly connected to the motherboard. We don't want to stick the guitar pick to damage, even if it's a plastic one, you don't want to damage the tiny capacitors in there. So what are you going to do? We're going to start from the front corner, anywhere in the front. So start from here, one corner, and you want to stick the guitar pick between the palm rest and the corner right there, about one or two millimeters. And then what you want to do, you just want to twist it towards the LCD and put your fingers in it, it doesn't go back down and you want to hear those click sounds those are the clips are getting loose you want to do this all around in the front end all right now that i can see this tiny tension right in here you're going to lift it up to the side and in here i'll lift it up i can see if i don't see anything just lift it up a little bit more now down here we're going to stick the guitar pick on the right in there on the back side just like that and then you want to lift it up and there we go you got one two three clips in here that are really let go you want to do the same thing on the other side so grab it stick it right in there and release those three clips once you do those you want to put it down grab the front end wiggle around and lift it up towards the back a little bit and you will release this one don't yank it up just like that because you're gonna get these ports stuck in here and you can rip them off. So lift it up from the front in 45 and let it push towards the back and you can release it. And the humongous battery is right in front of you. This is one, two, three, four cell batteries. And the model for this one is right in here. It says model name L20D4PC1. All right, this is a 15.36 volt. Uh, 5,100 milliamp hour, 78 watt. If you can, if they made a even compact battery with a higher capacity, sure you can put it in here as long as the screw holes and the contact are the same. To remove the battery, first we're gonna remove the the connector right in here. To remove the connector, there's a tiny ear lobes right in here. There's one right in there and one right in here. You wanna put your fingers right on the side and you want to pull it towards the motherboard just like that and then you can release it now we will need to remove this kit it's spreader right in here and remove the sst so remove three screws 
on this heat spreader right in here. They screws out the same size and height and remove the heat spreader and we're gonna release this SST by removing one screw, tiny one, and push it back because this screw goes right under the SST. I don't know why they couldn't just put it somewhere else, but anyway. So we're gonna remove all the screws that touches the batteries. There should be four, six of them. So two in here, they are the same size, and two almost towards the mid, and two on the other side. You see this one, there's an SST, but they put the screw right in here. In here, they could've put it in here instead of putting it there, I guess. Preventing, upgrading, making their life miserable it's their job so when you remove all the screws just bring it up lift it up and bring it up it's pretty heavy there's a flex cable for the keyboard and the battery is right in here actually this is it looks one big whole cell right in here a big whole cell right in here maybe it's two cell battery yeah it is one whole big cell all right so let's say that you got the new one in i'm not going to replace it this battery is just fine for the demonstration so we're gonna grab the new battery. We're gonna put it right on top. Make sure the screw holes are matching. Put it right on top here. And before we put this one, we're gonna put this at the end. We're gonna put the screw for the battery. So we put all those six screws that we removed. Also, at the end of the video, I will tell you a really nice tip how to keep your battery at the best uh, performance state and that you should be doing that even for the especially for the new battery before you power on the laptop it is very important that you take these precautions and do the steps that i'll tell you at the end of the video so first let's put it in you put the batteries in grab the ssd bring it down in 45 degree angle inside the connector grab the screw push it down put the screw right on top Grab the heat spreader, align it, and put the three screws for it. All right, once you put all this ready to go, you wanna grab the connector for the battery, make sure you align it in front of the jack, and you wanna push it straight inside the jack. Don't go sideways, it's straight in. And one last thing is to grab the bottom cover, Bring it, scoop the back in first in 45 degree angle, and then push the sides. Make sure you hear those nice click sounds. Once you're done with those, then you wanna put the short screws in the front and the longer screws towards the mid, towards the back. I'm just gonna finish up. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. And now regarding the initial uh, replacement of the battery, once you put the new battery in, you do not wanna power on the laptop right away. You want to leave it off and you want to connect the charger and leave it charging at least for four to five hours without powering it on. After four to four, five hours, you want to disconnect the charger and you want to power on the laptop and you want to discharge that battery slowly, put the brightness down to 50%. Don't put any loads, gaming, stuff like that, just regular office and work. So you can bring it slowly down to 40 or 30, 20% the load, the battery capacity. And after that, you want to power off the laptop and leave it connected to the charger for another four to five hours. After that, you can power it on as you wish and it will be fine. That initial charge and discharge is slow discharge. It is very crucial for the new battery. And you should be doing that once every couple of months to keep the health of the battery at its peak performance. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out to do your own battery replacement or removal for Lenovo Legion 5 Pro. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Just going to power it on. There we go.